Hi everyone. When the Jewish people entered the land of Israel, they were given a mitzvah, a commandment, to appoint a king. Som Tasim Alecha Melech. And with the appointment of the king, there were many mitzvot, many commandments that were connected to it. One of the mitzvot was that the king had to write for himself a Sefer Torah, a Torah scroll. And this Torah scroll traveled with the king wherever he went, whether he went to battle or to a public meeting or to a state event. The king always had the Torah close to his heart, and it reminded the king of the Torah, the mitzvot, and the Torah values and the Jewish people that he represented. But there was also another mitzvah for the king, to write a second Torah, a Mishnah Torah, another Torah that he kept in his palace, in the treasury, away from all his travels. The question is, why did the king need two Torahs? So the first Torah traveled with him, and obviously along the way, things happened. It got war torn, it got used, it got maybe damaged by a bit of the weather, and therefore, every once in a while, the king had to take his traveling Torah back to his treasury, back to his palace, just to check that his Torah was still intact, to make sure it was still pure. He compared the two Torahs to make sure nothing had changed. And this is a lesson for all of us, because in our lives, we also make goals and commitments, and we take it out into the world, and sometimes those goals and commitments get changed, External things happened, they get war torn, they get used, and sometimes we lose our way a bit. And therefore, it's always good to come back to our original goals, to our original commitments, to make sure that we've achieved exactly what we want to do, to make sure we are the people who we want to be. Today is Rosh Chodesh Elul, the new month of Elul, leading up to Rosh Hashanah, one month to go, a time where we think about the past year, the past achievements, and of course, our goals going forward, what we want to achieve in the new year. Let's take our Torah, let's take our goals, let's take our commitments, and make sure we are all the people that we want to be. Wishing you all a very good Shabbos.